young men from getting their fourth title. Now Gabrielson is in the blue and he is on top and he's leading four to two as we go into this last period. Chris Jones undefeated from Central Decatur in Leon, coached by Dan Christensen, is 41-0 coming into this meet. Gabrielson was the man who beat Ike Light, as we just said. Ike Light was going for his fourth title. Gabrielson met him in the semis and beat him. Dan Gabrielson. Finished second last year to Light at a lower weight. Now it's four to three. If now it's now it's uh well it's listed as four four here. I must have missed a point somewhere along the way. Either that or the uh, scoreboard. Somebody well. went wild at the at the scoring table. Six to three is the now the score that's listed, and I'm not quite sure how we got there, but Gabrielson leads six to three. He's in the blue. He's in on the leg. He's in on that leg. He's been. He's had a tough, great tournament. And like I said, he's probably had that loss to Ike Light last year in the finals on his mind all year. His coach John Yoder just couldn't say enough good things about him. He's real excited. It was a very much of a highlight for him to see his young wrestler or his wrestler that is a senior um, get that uh, win last night in the semifinals. Chris Jones is only a junior from Central Decatur. He's in the red. He's still coming at it. He's only three points behind. He has 40 seconds to go, but Gabrielson is uh, doing the attacking on the leg here. Gabrielson, no stranger to this state tournament. He's been here all four years, qualified as a freshman, was fourth as a sophomore. Last year, as we said, he was a runner-up. Here he is again. He went under that time and didn't have anywhere to go, so Jones locks up that front headlock question is he has can he do something with it he has 20 seconds to make up three points Jones here in the finals he's in the state tournament for his first time ever he's only junior has another year now we're down to 10 seconds 6-3 in favor of Gabrielson who is still attacking with a three-point lead and as long as he's attacking Jones can't score Gabrielson is the winner. Gabrielson the winner. He beat Ike Light last night in the semifinals, and he finishes a 34 and nothing year. Big year for that young man, coached by John Yoder. That's a big win. So often you come off a huge win in the semis. One. And we'll have that special guest in just a second, but first we want to announce that Jamie Height of Humboldt has defeated Steve Wilbur of Storm Lake by the margin of 4-2. to two. There you see an excited Jamie Height. Right now, another excited young man from Iowa City in Class 3A competition. 30 pound awards, Coach John Yoder of Belmont Fleming. Sixth place, Derek Morris, Lennox. Fifth place, Shane Manning, New London. Fourth place, Jason Keating, Winthrop, East Buchanan. Third place, Ike Light, Lisbon. Runner-up, Chris Jones, Leon, Central Decatur. And the 1A 130-pound champion from Belmont, Flemmy, Dan Gabrielson. A happy young man from Belmont, Flemmy, Dan Gabrielson. Came from second place in a lower weight last year to first place this year. That's the 1A standings as it's, we see them now. Lisbon has locked it up. Don Bosco second. Rock Valley doing well too has come up to third. Class Here are the 2A awards, awards at 130. Ron Wasaba of Humboldt. Sixth place, Jared Dua, Mid Prairie Wellman. Fifth place, Mark Zurich, West Lion Inwood. Fourth place, Justin Glider, Independence. Third place, Ryan Isaacson, Clarinda. Runner-up, Steve Wilbur, Storm Lake. And the 130-pound 2A champion from Humboldt, Jamie Height. Attaboy, Jamie. 2A champion at 130 pounds for Humboldt. We're going to see the team standings also here for the 2As. This one is the one that's getting to be exciting. We're going to have the championship settled at 189 pounds.